Hello, everyone, Jerry from Coast Box, as today we are doing another park battle. This time it is Six Flags New England versus Six Flags Fiesta Texas. You can find Six Flags New England in Agawam, Massachusetts, and Six Flags Fiesta Texas in San Antonio. Um, so first up, I just want to show you um, a couple warnings. If you haven't watched my, my last park battle, which is Six Flags Great Adventure in New England, uh, that I announced about the blue blob, it's still up there. So if the word is covered, then I'll read it to you. And also, this video was a request by Brett D 99 is awesome. So, yep. Let's get into this. So our first one is small coasters. Catwoman's Whip and Kitty Coaster. And you know that Catwoman's Whip will beat Kitty Coaster in this one. Kitty Coaster is just a lazy coaster. And it's something like Kitty Coaster at Lake Compounds. So you got to give this one to Catwoman's Whip in this one. Next we have some 40 free fly spins. Worth one point. And, and both of these are just the same. The only difference is the color scheme. And actually this picture right here is actually Six Flags New England actually. When I was getting built. So this is actually Six Flags New England's picture. Um, so yep. It's 2-1. Next we have some boomerangs. And these are just the same. Uh, I just oh also another uh, breaking news story that I forgot to mention that Flashback did Valley again on April nineteenth, so I just want to tell you that having di technical difficulties on Flashback lately. So, yep. Uh, so these are just boomerangs and they're just the same. You can find boomerang like almost every park in New England. So no, not in New England, the United States. I mean. So you can find any amusement park, uh, any boomerang in the United States of a park. So, yep. Next up, we have the two pandemoniums, and then these are these are just a clone. So both of these will be getting a point. And then we have some family coasters. We have Roadrunner Express and Thunderbolt. I'm gonna give it to Thunderbolt in this one. I think Thunderbolt is the most intenser one out of Roadrunner Express. Um, so I'm gonna give this one to Thunderbolt. Um, because I think Thunderbolt is like, um, Thunderbolt, I think, is like, a kind of like a, a ten intense coaster. Next up, we have some invert coasters. You know that Goliath will beat Mind Eraser in this one. Um, I know Mind Eraser got new restraints and new, re and got virtual reality, but you know that the B&M Inver clone will always be a Vacoma SLC. So you got to give this one to Goliath. Next up, we have the two B&M Floorless. And Sumia Krypton Coaster is no question at all. Sumia Krypton Coaster will definitely beat Batman Dark Knight in this one. So you got to give this one to you got to give this one to Superman Krypton Coaster. And then next we are at the final category, the RMC Hybrids. Um, we have Iron Rattler and Wicked Cyclone. And you are saying to yourself, oh, wow, this is such a tough one. Now, I haven't ridden Iron Rattler, and I, the only RMC I ridden in my life was Wicked Cyclone. I'm going to give it to Wicked Cyclone here. A lot of people are voting, oh, Wicked Cyclone should be the top one. Yeah, I think Wicked Cyclone is a top coaster out of the RMC, so I'm going to give it to Wicked Cyclone. Uh, Iron Rattler is actually a good coaster. It's actually Coaster Studios' favorite um, roller coaster is the one thing that I heard, but not anymore, actually, because now it's Lightning Rod. But I heard that, um, before he didn't road, um, Coaster Studios, before he didn't road Lightning Rod, um, Iron Rattler was his favorite. But in my decision, in my decision, I'm gonna give it to Wicked Cyclone in this one. Iron Rattler actually kind of looks slowish, just to be honest. Um, when I looked at a POV, Iron Rattler kind of looks slow. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, Six Flags Fiesta Texas actually has one extra roller coaster called Polter Jeans. Um, so, it's something like Joker's Jinx at Six Flags America. So, yep. And Six Flags New England also has some extra roller coasters. They have four extra roller coasters. Uh, they're getting one point for the Great Chase, their Kitty Coaster and Looney Tunes, Gotham City Gauntlet one point, Goliath two point, and then their world class coaster Superman the Ride three points. Next up, we have some drop towers, and both of these are the same. The other, the difference is the color scheme. 
So I'm going to give both of these two points. And Six Legs Win will be getting another two points for New England Sky Screamer. So, yep, New England Sky Screamer will take the two extra two points because it's the world's tallest swing ride. And then we have some flat rides. And actually, New England has one more extra flat ride than Fiesta Texas. So, New England will be gaining a point. Now, I usually go further on, like, the prices and operations and appearances, but it is such is a mercy rule. So, who won in this countdown? Six Flags New England did. Congratulations. Both of these are phenomenal parks. Six Flags New England is the better one out of this one. You can, if you live in the New England area, don't forget to go to Six Flags New England. Um, try some good coasters like Superman the Ride, Wicked Cyclone, the new for 2017, the Joker, Goliath, um, the world's tall swing ride. So if you live in New England, if you live like in the six states, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, if you live in those states, don't forget to try out Six Flags New England. Um, so, yep. And if you live in Texas, don't forget to try out Six Flags Fiesta Texas as well. Because you got Iron Rattler, Superman Krypton Coaster, so, yeah. So, uh, Superman, so Six Flags New England won this uh, park battle. So, if you want to learn more about Coast Box, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook for more construction updates and breaking news on any amusement park in the United States. And I just did a, maybe a, a mini breaking news story of what happened on April 19th with the Flashback Valley th thing and all over that. So, yeah. So, please post your likes and and um, if you want to, uh, please put your likes, put your comments as well. If you want to learn more about Coastbox, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook for more construction updates and breaking news regarding to any amusement park in the United States. And if you want to put in a request, like what Brett D nine nine is awesome did, you can you can post it in the comment section below. All right, now see you guys soon.